Hello everyone from the south of France. We are in Nice and we are staying over here at the Hyatt Regency. It is F1 weekend in Monaco, so it is a big weekend here. But we're also gonna explore other parts of the south of France while we're here. Right now we are on our way to a very famous restaurant for lunch called um, Les Plongeoirs, I believe it's pronounced. It's essentially a fancy restaurant on rock. Why we find these things interesting, I don't know, but it's very hard to get into. We got in, so we're gonna go check that out first. Staying right in front of the beach in Nice, so it's a really good location. And then all these like side streets down here is like old um, Nice. Yeah, that's our hotel. We got a rental car. Here we are. The Hyatt Regency in Nice is centrally located and walkable to a lot of great things to see and do, including the beach, Old Nice, a bunch of bars and restaurants, and so much more. Not to mention a great central location to explore other parts of the south of France like Cannes, Antibes, and Monaco. Make sure to check out our previous videos posted where we did F1 in Monaco, all of which we did from staying at this hotel. And as a reminder for those of you who are new here, I do own a luxury travel agency based in the United States, and we can plan a trip just like this for you at wanderlustjetsetter.com. End of May in south of France, still a little cold. So we have blankets on the water. Here exploring Ez or Eze, I forget. Is it Ez? Ez. And it reminds me a lot of Ravello in Italy in the Melfi Coast. It was really nice. Just like a little town. You just come for a drink or whatever, take some pictures. That is it. Okay, it is our last day in Nice. We haven't filmed a lot here. We're gonna put up two separate videos for the F1 experience in Monaco because it's just too much to put in one video. I'm exhausted, so if you can't tell, it's been a crazy weekend with all the F1 stuff. But we've been staying here at the Hyatt Regency. Um, reason we're staying in Nice over Monaco, it is a fraction of the cost, and let me tell you, this Hyatt, normally, let's say $300 a night tomorrow, more than triple over F1 weekend. So you can imagine how much Monaco is. It is extremely expensive, more than the tickets just to stay there. Um, there's really no point system or way to hack it. Everything is blackout this time of year. So staying in Nice has been, these cars, man, the easiest thing. Um, it's also nice because there's a lot to see and do in Nice. It's central to a lot and there's a train station nearby, especially from the Hyatt, that you can walk and get right into Monte Carlo. Now we are going to make our own perfume, which I need to find the place, so give me a This second. ended up being a really fun experience. I love doing things that are known for the region we're in, so Grasse, France is considered the world's perfume capital and as usual, really easily accessible from Nice. You can actually go there. We didn't have the chance to do that this time, but we got to learn all about perfumeries, how perfume is made, the different scents, and make our own. It was like a walkthrough process where we got to know the base and then we get to add more as we went. Highly recommend doing this. Okay, we just left the perfumery. It was really cool. I'm busy. Yeah, like too many scents. But we both made, oh my hair. We both made like our own little things and then the cool thing is they have your recipe now because we write it down so if we ever want to order it again they will literally ship us like a full-blown bottle and we got to name it and everything so it was really cool i definitely recommend it it was not that expensive i'll put the name of the place and everything in the link sure called. les petites ma chérie <laughs> don't even ask all right, we are checking out of the Hyatt Regency Nice and we're headed to Portofino to go back and watch our videos for F1 in Monaco and keep up with us for our new videos in Italy. 